Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I wanted to make a quick video on Zillow Group. Uh, as you guys may know, Zillow has been going through a, a lot of news lately with their failed strategy and eye buying. Um, basically, what Zillow was doing is they were they created an algorithm that was forecasting home prices and they were submitting cash offers to sellers. And the idea was that they would re renovate the units and they would put it back in the market, which is also known as home flipping. And uh, ultimately, in the end, the strategy didn't work out in Zillow's favor as uh, the algorithm they created was forecasting that home prices would continue to go up uh, given the, the home price increases in 2020 during the, the pandemic. Uh, and so what ended up happening is Zillow was making above market uh, offers to, for, to buy these homes. And, you know, you, you tie that with the labor shortages uh, the supply constraints in the construction industry, uh, Zillow was starting to fall back on their uh, renovations. And and so they started to fall back with renovations. And then not only that, they're making above asking offers, uh, above market offers. And uh, in, in the end, they ended up taking about $500 billion worth of losses. And their company valuation went from $48 billion down to $16 billion. So huge uh, decrease in their company's market capitalization. Uh, and so I think the, the big question now is what's next for Zillow? And, you know, based on my research, uh, Zillow will no longer be doing I buying. They will, they're leaving the home flipping business. And, you know, at, at first, at first thought, you know, you, you would think that Zillow would be successful because they have all the market data information and they're able to use that to their advantage to be able to make, you know, good offers and, and, and renovate these homes. But anyways, that didn't work for them. So they're leaving the home flipping business. Uh, and it looks like now they're going to be reverting back to their uh, traditional advertising business model uh, where, where they generate advertising revenue. Uh, they also generate leads for real estate brokers or real estate agents. And so they're going to be going back to that business model, which is a highly competitive uh, field. You know, there's other companies out there that do this as well, like such as Redfin, um, so there really, I don't think there really is a game plan for Zillow to go back to this home flipping business model. And, you know, there's companies out there that do this really successful. And, and this is where it's really odd that Zillow was not able to execute this because, you know, they have all the information. Um, but maybe that's just, a, you know, kind of a, a sign that, Hey, you know, these guys were you know, really tech savvy, you know, they had probably some really good uh, software engineers uh, creating these, you know, algorithms. Um, but again, you know, when you look at the home building industry, you have companies out there like Lennar, uh, KB Home, you have T.R. Orden, and all of these companies are home builders. And, you know, they, flip, they, they buy lots and they build houses and they do this really successful. And it, it's been really profitable for the home building uh, companies. Um, so Zillow was not able to execute that that business model, uh, and just based on the current you know market research reports that Zach put out, you know Zillow does not have plans to go back to home flipping. So if you're gonna bet on this company uh, to do um, advertising and generation lead, uh, I just don't know how much more growth there is in that market. I'm sure there will there will be growth, but. Um, you know, Zillow has to recover from all the losses it took. And so if you're going in as an investor, um, yeah, you probably will, you know, get Zillow at a discount now, but it's just really hard to predict what kind of growth, what kind of strategy they're going to take on in the next, you know, in the next three to five years. Um, and so personally, I'm, I'm not very optimistic about Zillow's future. Uh, I, I don't think it's a company that I would invest in personally. And I'm going to vote that this is not a company uh, to invest in. So, you know, just putting the information out there, just giving you my opinion. Uh, this is not financial advice and I, I don't uh, give out uh, investment advice. But so just based on the research, uh, Zillow does not look like a company to invest in.